recording. And we'll move down on our backs, soles of our feet together, knees out wide, starting to move down, allowing our knees to fall open with gravity, allowing our shoulders to fall open with gravity. If you have a bolster and a block, that's wonderful. If you don't, that's also completely fine. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing in to a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly. Up through the ribs, the lungs. All the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your body. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, Three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Feel that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then 
then using the strength of your arms, push up and remove your block and your bolster. Then roll over onto your backs. Draw those knees in for a compassionate hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, inhale first. Exhale as you extend your right leg. Inhale that left arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your left leg over to the right. And again, you can stay here in a full body twist. You can also inhale first and then exhale as you bend your right knee, grabbing onto your right ankle, if this is in your practice. You can also inhale first and exhale as you extend that left leg as far as you can. Again, grabbing onto your toes, your ankle, your calf, wherever you are. And again, if you're doing this, you can also use a strap on either side if that's something that is in your practice. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to um, grab on. So wherever you are, drag those shoulders back and down as much as possible. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Right knee over to the left. 
look over that right shoulder. And again, you can stay here, dragging those shoulders back and down. Or you can inhale first and exhale as you bend that left knee, grabbing onto your left foot with your right hand. Inhale first and exhale as you extend that right leg. Again, grabbing onto your toes, your calf, your ankle, wherever you are is perfect. Again, dragging those shoulders back and down. Again, opening our hearts as we do. Mm. And smile, it's Thursday. We made it through that terrible rainstorm, snowstorm. And today is another day. We have all that water for plants and animals and great thing to have in spite of the fact that it's no fun to have it in our home. <laughs> this too shall pass. able to go to Avondale to eat last night, but we will on Friday because of the fact that the rain was so bad right when we were being, going to leave, and Will let us know that his girlfriend had seen three accidents driving from Luke Air Force Base to their hotel, and I thought that that was a good sign that we should wait, hold off on it. But it should be beautiful on Friday, which is wonderful. Plus, I am afraid that our wash might have flooded a couple times last night. We might not have been able to get home. Joys of living out in the middle of the country. <laughs> But slowly inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, grab onto your insteps. Let's drag those knees down towards our shoulder blades. Again, in happy baby. Rocking back and forth, touching first one knee and then the other to the mat. And again, opening up those hips, those thighs, those shoulders as you pull them back and down. Come back to center. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg. Now you can hold on to your instep. That's a deeper stretch. You can also grab onto your big toe with your index finger and thumb. If this is a little bit easier, drag your shoulders back and down as you're doing this half dragon fly. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend that left leg and again drag that left shoulder back and down in a half dragon fly and smile it's Thursday inhale back to center exhale as you extend both legs shoulders come back and down breathing in and out Dragonfly. This should be a little um, less difficult than um, doing this on the on the mat as we did on Tuesday, holding forward. This is also very good for us. Inhale both knees to 
to center. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then place the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you place your hands around that left thigh, shoulders back and down. Flex your foot. Exhale as you extend your leg. Dragging that thigh towards you. Keeping your hip down as much as possible. And then again, possibly grabbing on to your toes. If this is in your practice, you can also use a strap. Straps are really useful for yin yoga, but don't feel like you have to have a strap. I've been watching Ted Lasso. I don't know if you guys have all seen that. It's on Apple TV. It's adorable. They've won lots of Emmys, and Jason Sudakis is adorable. But there's a um, there's a woman who is the owner of the team, the Richmond soccer team, or it's football team in in England. And um, she's very tall. Actually, she's only 5'11", but she looks like she's taller than 5'11". Um, and she obviously does yoga. She's very fit. And she did a yoga move in one of the episodes that I saw, making herself tall and then doing uh, goddess move. It's, it's fun to watch. This is a move that she does because she is one of the only women football team owners. Um, before she goes into board meetings. It's really cute. Inhale first, and then exhale as you allow that left leg to fall down towards the mat with gravity, allowing that right arm to fall down as well. And again, you can use your um, bolster or a block underneath your thigh if that's a little easier or under your calf. Mm -hmm. Keeping that right hip down as much as possible. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale back to center, extend that right leg, grab onto your foot with your right hand, allow that left hand to fall down with gravity, and exhale all the way over to the right as far as you can, keeping that left hip down as much as possible. I mean, obviously it's impossible to keep it down on the mat, but just Use that motion of pulling it back and down as much as you can and breathe. Again, you can use a bolster or a block on the right side. Mm -hmm. 
Slowly inhale that left leg to center. Exhale as you draw your feet and give yourself a hug. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you place your hands around that right thigh. Exhale as you extend your leg above you, dragging your shoulders back and down. And again, you can stay here. You can grab onto your toes if you'd like to. Wherever you are, it was perfect. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you allow that left hand to fall down with gravity. Allow your right leg to fall open with gravity. Keep that left hip down as much as possible. Breathing in and out. Place your hands 
behind your thighs, spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back. Yeah. Allowing each vertebra to come back into alignment. And again, do three or four of these and arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana. And now we're going to move into Yoga Nidra. So make sure that you have a block or a bolster, for, excuse me, for your knees. You need a pillow for your head as well. Maybe an eye pillow to put over your eyes. If you'd like to, turn off your screen. You don't have to. I will change the playlist to our Yoga Nidra playlist. And we'll get started in just about 30 seconds or so. And again, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my screen. If I can figure out how to do so. There we go. <clears throat> Make sure that you're hydrated. Drink water. And again, move into a com uh, comfortable position, a position that you can hold for the duration of the practice. But again, if you feel that you have to move, certainly do so. It is time for Yoga Nidra. You should be lying on your back with the knees slightly bent and supported. Make sure that you are warm enough and that your position is one that will be comfortable for the duration of the practice. It is best that you remain still during Yoga Nidra so that both your body and your brain have a chance to fully relax. However, if you become uncomfortable, please feel free to change position. Allow your eyes to close and keep them closed until the practice has ended. The practice of Yoga Nidra is a practice of yogic sleep that will guide you to the hypnagogic state, a state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. Try to remain awake by listening to the sound of my voice. You will be asked to move your awareness to various bodily sensations, emotions, and images. Try not to concentrate too intensely as this may prevent you from relaxing. During this meditation, please use and absorb what you need in the moment and leave the rest behind. If the mind becomes overactive with thoughts and worries, just come back to the sound of my voice. Become aware of any sounds you can hear in this moment. Nothing else but what you can hear without strain. Begin to focus on the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing radiate outward, searching out these distant sounds and following them for a few moments.
Move your attention from sound to sound without labeling. the floor, your body lying on the floor. Visualize your body lying on the floor, the position of your body, your clothes, your hair, your face. Become acutely aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Become aware of your natural breath. Become aware of your natural and spontaneous breath that moves in and out of your body without any effort. The natural breath flows in through both nostrils. Notice the feeling of the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils. There is a sense of coolness as you inhale the breath. Follow this feeling into your nose, your sinuses, the back of your throat, into your lungs. There is a sense of warmth as you exhale the breath. Feel this warmth on your upper lip as you breathe out. The natural breath flows through both nostrils during the inhale and the exhale. Allow your breath to become longer and slower. Take a long, slow inhalation, followed by a longer, slower exhalation. Make your exhale even slower. Notice the slight pause after the exhale. Slow inhale. Even slower exhale. And pause. Feel the urge to breathe in, bubble up inside of you. When you need to inhale, please do so. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower exhale and then pause where the body is neither breathing in nor out. Please continue breathing in this way. Now go back to the natural easy breath, releasing any control over the inhale or the exhale. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. At this moment, you should make your Sankalpa or intention. The Sankalpa should be a short, 
positive statement in simple language. Try to discover one naturally. Please mentally state your sankalpa clearly and with awareness three times. The sankalpa you make during yoga nidra plants a seed in the fertile soil of your mind to bring about transformation and healing. Also, say to yourself, I am practicing yoga nidra. I am awake and relaxed. We will now begin a systematic journey of sensory awareness throughout the body. You will move your awareness to different parts of your body as soon as you hear them named. Please say the name of the part to yourself and feel that part of your body, but do not move any part. The practice begins on the right side. Right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Fifth finger. Palm of the hand. Back of the hand. Wrist. Forearm. Elbow. Upper arm. Shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, half, ankle, heel. Sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand. Wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, arm, armpit, waist. Hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot. Left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, 
fifth toe. Now go to the back of the body, right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, right thigh, left thigh, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, middle back, upper back, the entire spine, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, both lips together, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, right groin, left groin, the pelvic floor, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, the whole face, the whole head, the whole torso, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Begin to concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. Imagine before you a transparent screen as though you were at the movie theater. The screen is as high and as wide as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Colors, patterns, and light. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. If any subtle images make themselves known, simply notice them without directing the images. 
If thoughts occur, please let, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. It is time to repeat your Sankalpa. Please repeat the same statement made at the beginning of the practice three times mentally now. Finish with the line, I am whole, healed, and healthy. Come back to the feeling of your breath flowing in and out of your nostrils. Maintain your awareness of breath and at the same time develop your awareness of your physical body. Your body is relaxed and lying on the floor. Feel the container of your skin and the clothes and props that are touching you. Notice the heaviness of your body as it rests on the floor and take your awareness into all the points that are touching the floor, the back of your heels, your thighs, your buttocks, your shoulder blades, your arms, your hands, and your head. Do not open your eyes yet, but visualize the surrounding room. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects that are around you. Lie quietly until you feel ready to move. Start by slowly moving your hands and feet. Take your time. There is no hurry. And then when you're ready, slowly roll over onto the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra and heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Actually, I say beautiful, but it's very cloudy outside. I hope that it clears up and that we have no more rain for a while. That would be wonderful. <laughs> anyway, it's wonderful to see all of you. Thank you for coming.